morning folks we had some requests about uh, that we would do a startup cost video about money and stuff so we're gonna give it a shot so I'm not a big numbers guy but I know enough to push numbers around to know if something's a good idea or not at least I think I do so I drew up a few things here um, now bear in mind we're we're starting our farm and trying to do trying to buy the least amount of things that we possibly can so we don't even have a trailer to haul animals in we have just a light pickup truck and we walk a lot we don't have a four-wheeler or anything we just do everything by hand because we're trying to keep our costs down anyway so our startup cost so far we've we're renting about 50 acres of $35 an acre that comes out to $1750 we've got about $2500 in electric fence that we set up on that 50 acres so that we could run our sheep e efficiently and keep them in and that includes a really good energizer because that was really important for sheep to make sure the fence is really hot we've got about $1500 in our water system because we had to buy a pump and a bunch of pipe uh, and then we had we paid about three hundred and nine dollars each for 68 U's so that's twenty one thousand dollars and that all comes out to twenty six thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars that we have into our uh, sheep operation so far so hopefully that doesn't destroy anybody's dreams about startup costs <laughs> starting the farm's not cheap and we are doing it cheaply as far as startup goes so kind of our what we're looking at for for profit potential um our 68 U's cost twenty one thousand dollars if we can get a one and a half percent lamb rate will end up with a hundred and two lambs and I mean that's that's pretty that's good but that's not like really good I'd love to see a two percent lambing rate but I, we're not gonna get there this year uh, I know we can take those hundred and two lambs to the sale barn and get about two hundred fifty dollars each for them and there again I'm being fairly uh, moderate I mean they could go three hundred but we would be able to make our money back um, from the sheep cost just by taking those 102 lambs to the sale barn the first year. Now, and we'd only be about a thousand dollars short of paying everything the first year. And and all this stuff, uh, electric fence, water system, this is it doesn't wear out really. It we'll be able to use it for years and years and years. Those costs will get less every year we use them. Yeah. Yeah, we won't have those costs next year. Anyway, I mean, that's pretty good for a first year to be able to um, be over by about 5000 Now, of course, we're going to get rid of some of these ewes because we don't like them. And we would keep a bunch of the ewe lambs to grow our flock. And so it would be a lot less than that. And so far this year, we have not even come close to that because we don't really know when the ewes are going to land. We've only had seven lambs so far. Um, just, I mean, don't get your hopes too high because, you know, on paper this looks great, but we might be going into next year with this still buried in our sheep and not having seen any of it yet come back. So, and then here's another, if we only get... If each ewe only averages one lamb, um, we'd end up with about 17,000, which really isn't bad at all, uh, considering these ewes would go on to produce a lot more lambs. But, And then, uh, just a little number down here, if chores take me about an hour a day, um, so it's a little over $9,000 a year at $25 an hour uh, just to take care of these 68 
and the efficiencies at scale are enormous. I mean, I could take care of 200 and it would hardly take me any more time. So once we pay off, if we were able to get 102 lambs and pay off the use the first year, I would easily be able to pay myself $25 an hour next year to take care of them. So there's that. Um, we'd like to get up to at least 300 ewes and so the numbers on that look even better especially since we wouldn't be buying a flock of 300 and not know when they're going to lamb like the flock we bought or if they're going to lamb um a one and a half percent which i know we can do better than that but we'd get 450 lambs at 250 dollars each that's over a hundred thousand dollars hundred twelve thousand five hundred dollars uh and we're we're talking about 200 acres of land and I put $40 an acre on here. That would be, that would be pretty high, but, uh, land's hard to get. So we might pay that. That's only $8,000 in rent. I mean, we're still over a hundred thousand dollars that to, um, do the rest of the stuff with, which with our system is pretty much nothing. We try not to feed them any hay if we don't have to. In the winter time, which with 200 acres, we could probably not feed any hay at all. So we wouldn't have hay costs. We would just have to um, deduct some of that for electric fence. Uh, we could probably buy a cattle trailer at that point to haul them. Um, I mean, even if even if we spend 50000 we still have 50000 uh to make up for us to live on. So that's, that's kind of where we're headed. Uh, I think we can very easily make a living even if the price of sheep drops to two hundred dollars or a hundred fifty dollars i think we can still make a living just because of how low cost we are and efficient and so those of you that like to see a kind of a comparison with cows um i just drew up this paper Almost everyone in our area here in Kansas has cows. Um, they call sheep prairie maggots. Kind of goes back to the the feuds that they had a long time ago between the sheep herders and the cow herders, and the cow herders wiped out all the sheep herders. Anyway, uh, if I were to buy 100 cows, um, I would need about 500 acres. That's about $17,500 in rent. I'd be able to get, uh, hopefully, be able to get about 95 calves out of those 100 cows, and this is this this would be a super simple system, okay? No no silage, um, very little hay fed in the winter time. They'd be lambing in, in the uh, they'd be calving in the spring. And this is like as super super simple and bare bones as you could get. I could still only pull out about 85,000 to 500 dollars off of that, and I mean obviously if I kept them in a feedlot, I could get more than $900 for, for them, but then the expenses would just be exponential for that. So I would be selling lean calves, and I mean, I don't even know if I could get 900 That's pretty generous. And so after the rent's taken away, that's 68000 uh, I mean, I think it would work, but you just don't have that much left to work with. And bear in mind that with 500 acres to run 100 cows, I could have six or seven hundred sheep and this number could be like two or three hundred thousand instead of 68 so that kind of is a little comparison about how the profit potential of uh cows versus sheep anyway hope that helps you guys and can kind of hopefully not dash any dreams but uh just give you guys something to start with. Thanks.